deck can probably do a little better. Like, we have a high curve, and just starting without islands is a little sketchy. I don't want to keep it to the lander with no islands and only one removal spell. Especially against a deck that seems to be pretty aggressive like his. So we're going to mulligan. And... Yeah, this is better. I mean, we still have to hit a land, but we have things to do. Uh, assuming we do, and we're on the draw. So There we go, land. Boom. Uh, Scroll Thief will probably be coming out first once again. Uh, oh, okay, that's fine. I mean, it's value, but we're not getting beat down, and I think our deck wins the long, grindy games. Talrand, sweet. That will probably be a decent turn four play. Yeah. <laughs> Assuming we draw a land. So. What's he got here? You have his force mage. Okay, he's going to get in for a bit here. And then we get to play Scroll Thief, who will block effectively. And hopefully Talrind or the boar after that. Probably just Talrind so that when we draw instants and sorceries, uh, they'll have some added value. Ooh, uh, we actually can't play that though, because otherwise that would be my choice. But we only have one red mana, so. Scroll Thief it is. <clears throat> Guild of the Lotus might be decent in our deck, because it seems like we always have cards stuck in hand, because our cards are so expensive, and like, we always, uh, you yeah, know, we never. Never can quite catch up with our draws. I don't think we've been in top deck mode very much. Especially considering we have Rummaging Goblin. This card's so good. Uh, okay, what's he going to grab? Hopefully not a Sentinel Spider. Fucking Sentinel Spiders. Uh, like a Spike Baloth is fine, I guess. I don't know. Oh, acidic slime, right? Jeez, so if we draw, uh, no, we're playing rummaging goblin because we did not draw anything. Okay. We are gonna be losing our mountain. Missing land drops is definitely a way we could lose this game, especially because assuming he has a land drop, which he's got five cards in hand, uh, we're going to lose our mountain here, and we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Yep. <clears throat> this card seems pretty decent in this deck. Who we see? At least three targets. Two Bayloths and the Slime. Probably Slime and Sentinel Spider are probably the best things to grab with that. Oh, he's going to go after our second island. Um... Okay. I mean, I don't think that's actually quite as bad, because at least we still get to play uh, Wall of Fire if we draw mana. Uh, we could draw nothing. Okay. And I should probably just loot now as opposed to later. Uh, our Cam Answer seems the worst of this hand at the moment. I mean, it gives us something to do, even though it's not a land. He doesn't get to keep putting so much pressure on us. Uh, we block. We don't block slime because taking two is better than taking a lot more once we don't have our solid blocker and scroll thief anymore. Okay. Okay, he's just going for it. Okay, let's just block like that. Gonna take five. We do get to counter creatures here, so. Probably next thing to get pitched is gonna be one of the volcanic geysers. I mean, like, they're, they're clearly very good cards, and it's unfortunate we pitched our Cam Mancer already, but, like, I don't know. They won't. We gotta, we gotta draw quite a few lands. Okay, wow. It's gonna go about it that way. Just getting in all the damage, huh? We go to eight. <sighs> sure. <laughs> I don't even, like... 
Yeah, we just have to... Well, for not being a land, that's one of our better draws. I really should have looted... That was bad. Because if we hit a land, we would have rather played Wall of Fire. But it's cool, because we didn't hit a land. Who needs lands? You can get three and... Okay, I'm just going to attack here. Not because I don't want him as a blocker, but because I really want to draw land. And, yeah. No land still. Okay. That acidic slime got us pretty hard. I mean, we actually still would have been in really bad shape without the acidic slime, because we would still be stuck on three lands. But that was a little better than where we are at the moment. Yep. Sentinel spider. Beast tracker is pretty good in this deck. Okay, we're going to take three here. I, I don't think we can win this game. Well, okay, this blocks. And we made a land drop this turn, so I don't really have to loot. I'd rather, rather he just be there for a potential blocker, so. Um, next turn, I guess, uh, if I draw a mount, well, if I draw anything, I think Firewing Phoenix is the best thing, because it trades with, uh, okay, do we double block it? I guess we just double block and loot. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, clearly losing both these guys is bad, but what are we doing, just losing a guy to it every turn? That's, that's worse, because we're going to lose a bunch of guys eventually anyways. Um. Shit. Uh, what's the worst of all these? Probably Talrand. Yeah, I think I just pitched tower. Uh, I mean, volcanic guys are kill stuff. Tower would help us in a really grindy game, but we are. Uh, it's gonna be a tough game. All right, next turn we get to play Firewing Phoenix, which will be really helpful against Sentinel Spider, because we can trade it off and stuff. Double blue, double blue cards, we just can't afford to be keeping at this point. There's another blue mana. Uh, I think we need to play Firewing Phoenix now. Because it comes back. Alright. I mean, we're actually a little better off than I thought we'd be. We've kind of stayed just because of our big walls. But, uh, yeah. I don't know, any, any big splashy problem card we're just dead here so elvish arch true that doesn't do too much for now though it does make mana probably doesn't have a lot past six unless he's doing something crazy in his deck makes elvish visionary a 2-2 which is relevant but not incredibly at this point we got a lot of blockers okay nice Okay, um, it's just Talon's invocation, right? Putting the most power on board. And I could attack with Phoenix, but, meh. If he's got anything, eh. Phoenix just being a high power blocker is nice right now. And because we can trade it off with Sentinel Spider and bring it back, that's really solid. Okay. We... Are getting valued out here. If I when I drop Blade Tuspor, I think he is going to be attacking. However, given that he doesn't have any red cards, so it's kind of nice. Then we're just gonna sit back. 
All right, makes three mana. Primal Hunt Beast. Okay. And Spike Baloth. Uh, we need more blockers. <laughs> Fairy invaders. Okay, so we're just going to, uh, yep, leave the man up. We can always volcanic guys if it's better than fairy invaders, but I actually think fairy invaders is better here. It's likely just going to swing at us. Um, let me see if I can even live a block. No. Oh, God. Um, if he throws that on, like, the spider, then we volcanic guys are right in response. Nope, he's going to throw it on the hunt beast, because we can't do anything about it. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, what? Okay, uh, yeah. So, he moved it. Cool. Let's wait for him to declare his attacks. Oh, no attacks. Then let's just do this. Okay. Dulkin Entrancer. He has the most toughness out of all those cards, so that's what we want at the moment. And. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, Fairy Invaders is a better surprise, has more power, but. This guy's most toughness. That's what we want at this point, is toughness. We're living longer than I thought we would. <laughs> I can say that. I really thought we were dead when we were stuck on playing nothing for like five turns. And I think we still do lose. I think Torturing comes in against this guy next next round. Okay. And he's just going to pass the turn. Or is he going to swing? Ugh. What's this? Okay. Um, let's see. This guy's tramp. We're going to... No, no attacks, though. Okay. Well, we're still pretty dead, but he gave us time to play more things. Um... Yeah, Fairy Invaders is just better than Blade Dust Boards because it's going to be a surprise. So. Yep, he's got the ring on the Hex Proofy now. And <laughs> Pack Leader. Uh. Okay, nothing again. Let's bring these guys in. And... <laughs> Mill him, I guess. I don't know. He's just waiting. There's like nothing we can do. Sleep. That does something. Awesomeness of sleep on defense. Incredible. Okay. And uh, I guess if all those guys are tapped, I might as well hit him. <laughs> uh, I am going to leave. So, well, let's see. 6, 8, 11, 12. There's actually a difference between 11 and 12. So let's hit with this guy as well. Uh, I don't know. 
hopefully he doesn't have anything with haste plus removal for our Kraken Hatchling. That's all we can hope. Wow, if we if that's if that's enough, like I really did think he slow rolled us too long. He should have he should have probably been making some attacks. But Goblin Arsonist. Okay. Oh sweet. Uh what do we want to do? I guess I think we just have to go all out and play play around plummet. So Yeah. This way if he plummets any single one of our cre nice. All right. Did not think we'd win that game. We got incredibly lucky with the top deck sleep. Um, yeah, that was just basically asshole top deck classic, where I luck sacked out. But um, our opponent probably shouldn't have been waiting that long. I don't know. Depends. Really glad we won though, and we're on to the finals. I'll see you guys in there. Okay, finals. Um, I think this hand is keepable. Uh, mostly because the red cards aren't something we'd be playing before the blue.